So why do this film? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight on. Like, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, why do this film? Um, it's not the uh, normal music documentary film. Um, this film can save people's lives. Um, I didn't want to do this film because it's too painful to go back to our sad memories. Uh, we have, you know, some member passed away. Also, my father killed himself. Um, my vo uh, the vocalist, which, which I grew up with, got brainwashed, joined the cult. But somehow we got reunited. Then, played my song Sky Garden Show. So, I mean, I just, I just making really long story, too short. But um, um, so this film can give people courage to move on. So that's that's why we decided to do this. And I know that when you lost your father as a child, that actually got you started with drums. How has your loss really propelled your creativity, propelled your success in a way? It's kind of very ironic. If my father still exists, um, I might not have been doing rock band. I might have been doing, because I was playing classical you know, already, so maybe just become classical pianist, something like that. I mean, I'm playing classical piano now too. I mean, I'm playing Carnegie Hall, by the way, <laughs> uh, this coming January. But if my father didn't pass away, I might have not doing rock. It's, it's, I didn't think about that, but yeah. What did rock music offer you that classical music didn't? At that time, everything I needed. I was so depressed, I was so angry, I was crying every day. I was very suicidal. Uh, but I found rock so I can express all those feelings through, you know, this genre of music. Um, so kind of rock or oh, just music saved me. Yeah. Because, you know, it's all about rock is more like lifestyle. You know, not only not only melody and music and if we are talking about drums, bass, guitar, but rock is more than that. It's like how you live or something like this. So it's just rock was perfect fit for me. Yeah. You really are so unique in the industry in terms of the fact that on the one hand you can play Carnegie Hall and on the other hand you can play MSG with your rock band. What kind of similarities do you see between rock and classical? Well, I started playing piano when I was four years old and started playing drums when I was ten. So I don't really see that much difference because, you know, um, I just come, come, came naturally. So uh, when it comes to melody, I mean, rock melody, a uh, rock genre could have even beautiful melody too. Classic, classic music also can have very violent movement as well. Um, it's not just, it's not that different to me, you know. Um, just playing drums and piano back, go, go, go back and forth might be a little hard. <laughs> but uh, musically, I mean, classic is kind of like um, alphabet of like, you know, English. Let's see, you, you learn English, uh, English. You, you, you learn A, B, C, D, F, G thing before you learn everything. So if you know classical music, you can go anywhere from classic classical music to jazz or EDM, punk rock or rock, so or pop. So classical music is just like a kind of basic thing for, you know. They, they also again, I, I mean, classic can be also really deep too, you know. So yeah. How is this film helping you connect with a new audience? Yes, uh, there are, I, I've been going through a, a lot of film festivals uh, around the world. So people who have never heard of Japan, or, or people who have never been a music fan, uh, came to me, then the story is incredible. Then now I want to go to your concert. Like, wow, that's cool, you know? I was not really expecting that. I was. I mean, we're his, his, his time to just release this, uh, I mean, to create this film too. But the reason was, again, I wanted to just, you know, give people some kind of hope through this film. But now, they also start liking our music. That's, that's really cool. 
How are American fans different than Japanese fans? Interesting question. Actually, it's not that different. They are really, you know, passionate. And then when I played Manchester Square Garden, um, it was like, I, don't, I didn't really see the difference. I mean, not only America or Japan or uh, somewhere in Asia, Europe, South America, Latin America, they are all like passionate, then pure, and then, you know, I start, start really feeling there's no boundary in music, you know, when it comes to music. What did it mean for you to play Madison Square Garden a couple of years ago? <sighs> Even though I played, let's see, Tokyo Dome, maybe three times bigger than the Madison Square Garden, like so many times. Uh, Madison Square Garden is some kind of like a goal for every single artist. So it looks so, it looks so much bigger <laughs> than, um, it was like, I kind of accomplished one of you know, just one of my dreams. It's like, it um, was a very sacred place, and then, yeah, so. Now we have a piano behind us. Could you give us a little taste of something that's inspiring you right now? Oh, you need to play? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Let's do so much thank you, thank that you. was amazing thank, thank you. you all right so what does that song mean to you well you know we came from japan but um america gave me a chance to do be part of this kind of place i mean we played Madison square garden so america gave us a chance so i wanted to just thank america so that's why i played this song you have so much coming up What's getting you most excited? Well, you know, first of all, this film is going to be finally uh, released um, throughout theaters in America. Um, also, album is coming. Um, then my Carnegie Hall concert is coming. Um, but I have to say, you know, the fans all over the world kept supporting me more and more. That's the most ex exciting thing in my life. Well, I know that many American fans are very excited to have you here, so thank you, Shiki. Thank you. Thank Good you so much. You. Thank you so much.